Hope you're doing well and welcome back to another Battlefield 6 video. If you could subscribe so you can get more Battlefield 6 content, be sure to do that. Anyway, let's talk about Battlefield 6 today. What do Warzone and Battlefield 5 have in common? Well, to put you in perspective, they both have a lot of hackers. And that's not a good thing. And a huge problem with Battlefield 5 was it, you guessed it, Chinese hackers. But the best way to put it is, well, Battlefield 5 was a total chaos. Recently, Jack Frax commented on this as well. The next Battlefield game needs to have a better anti-cheat. I'm making this video in response to something that happened to me yesterday and has happened several times in the past before. And this affects the entire player base on PC and has negative implications for future titles. And it's seriously important to note that Jaffrax putting out this puts a lot of pressure on DICE. Be followed by an obvious cheater who was joining my games, rage hacking the whole server, therefore making it unplayable. So I ended my stream after 55 minutes. This has happened most of the other times that I've streamed battlefield games and this is the reason that i don't stream them that often because this always happens the last time i did a public live stream on battlefield was back in april on battlefield one and the same thing occurred i even said to myself yesterday before i started i'm enjoying the game again i'll give the live stream a go but i predicted that this would happen and i was expecting it to whilst i understand that i was targeted here and am always targeted when live streaming battlefield games this is not just a problem that i face this has happened to other streamers as well and anyone playing on pc Cheating has been a massive problem for the last few Battlefield games, BF5 in particular, and often there are posts on Reddit and social media discussing this, but I feel that it often just gets lost in the wind. Players who are obviously cheating are not banned, getting to max level and allowed to stay there. So the and Jack Frags actually made a great point, but there's another big obvious reason that's really, really wrong. This doesn't only happen to big streamers. It happens to every single person. It happened to you, it happened to me. Even if you didn't notice it, there was a hacker in your lobby. But if Battlefield 6 doesn't have anti-cheat, it's gonna be like a big problem. But I'm very optimistic about this. You see, Battlefield 5 might have been a huge flop, but DICE is not gonna be making the same mistake from the research I have actually done. Now, the big issue with Battlefield 5 was simply not communicating with the core audience, or well, the community. Now, this can definitely be fixed with one simple thing. They actually have and are testing the game itself. It's, you know, pretty much hidden right now and nobody actually knows what is going on. That's why the hype is so real. If nothing is revealed, it makes a much more sense, right? Than just revealing everything at once and then not providing any new info. And you see, with the more beta testers or well, actually pre-alpha testers, play testers, whatever you want to call them, it's a very positive response. And one of that is my simple guess is due to not being like Battlefield 5, but also because it's gonna be modern and it's gonna have anti cheat. And anti cheat is a huge reason that, you know, Battlefield 6 will have the advantage from games like Warzone, where, you know, there's still hackers and cheaters over, you know, where there's millions, 100 million players playing already Warzone. And there's still people cheating. But it's very important to say that DICE and EA is a very big company. And with the leaks we have now, such as Anton actually saying, so Anton, if you don't know, if you didn't watch my last videos, I do highly recommend you do that. However, to make it short for you, he basically said, Battlefield 6 is not what fans expect it to be, but it's made very good. It's played very good. And Battlefield 6 is gonna be a game unlike anything other. So that means it will have all the improvements Battlefield franchise actually needs. So that means, you know, more weapons, more customization, everything. Everything you can think of. You know, they had many years, from most likely more than two years, which is more than other franchises they were actually working on. So, for example, you will have anti-cheat, you will have more vehicles, you will have simply more customization and also more game modes. And I think it's super important to note, you know, that EA and DICE uh, will not make the same mistake to actually let Battlefield be another flop. It's simply not happening for such a huge company, especially 
especially when they hired new people to make such an awesome and big EAAA game. Now it tells you a lot about what Battlefield 6 might be since we also have Tom Henderson on the line talking about Battlefield 6 basically it being great which I definitely do agree with and these are really really trustable leakers these are not some sources from Chinese sites or some from Russian sites from a forum these are legit actual sources from people who know what they're talking about who actually leaked on games before and not to worry about Battlefield 6 because it's gonna have anti-cheat and we have more info on the gameplay pretty soon even before spring potentially due to such nice leakers that actually give info out there now it's very important to note that in my personal opinion I think Battlefield is not in early stages anymore as it was a few months ago. So for example, it's not like the earnings report in August where they said that this game is simply progressing very good. This game actually has some track now, has some actual gameplay, and I'm not talking about pre-alpha gameplay, surely we should be in alpha by now. But it's very important to note as well that this could change at any time, and what we have presented today could very much change in spring. Now, people have been asking for Battlefield Vietnam, and some people aren't happy with Battlefield Battle Royale. Now, do know that I have no confirmation that Battlefield Battle Royale will be happening, all through I have some very good indications toward that it will be potential in the future especially with firestorm and them wanting to you know improve and catch the hype it's very much possible that firestorm 2.0 and types of success might actually happen now it's not that bad of a thing warzone actually was the same thing and it was a huge hype back then and it's even a huge hype now one thing no YouTuber is discussing, or not any news source outlet, is how Battlefield 6 is a civil war right now. Half of the people do not want to see the sight of Battle Royale. Other half of the people want to see some sort of a Battle Royale, or want to see, you know, actually Vietnam. And, you know, there's no right or wrong point, but one thing's for sure, which I'm definitely positive about, that the new Battlefield is gonna be the modern setting. It's very much likely, since what has happened so far is that well with modern setting, DICE and EA always took the good turn and profited with the game, while taking, you know, the risky turns might have been profitable, but just isn't worth the risk right now. Do you wanna see, you know, Battlefield Vietnam, or do you wanna see any other game? Be sure to subscribe for more Battlefield 6 exclusive content, and let me know what you wanna see in the new Battlefield 6 to actually make you consider buying it. I'm Battlefield Central, and see you on the next video.